hello guys and welcome back to the channel this is going to be a quick one in this video i want to show you how to set up a responsive three columns layout in bricks and i'm going to go straight to the point so i assume that you already know how to set up your loop item so i have a container the section container and a loop item which contains my product picture the product name and r to cut now if you don't know how to set up a loop item i'm going to link an in-depth video at the top right corner of the screen so check it out now this is going to be focused on just the layout so the first thing you want to do is your container so i have a notepad here that shows you what you're going to do so you're going to add this to the flex basis of the loop item so i'm just going to copy this and then i'm going to go to the loop item and add it to the flex basis and then let me go back again the next thing you're going to do is to add this to the column grab and row grab of the parent container of the card which is the loop item so i should probably change this to loop item so i'm going to copy var gap and just put it at the parent container the column grab and the row gap and what is the next thing so we're going to set the parent container to flex wrap and direction to horizontal and stretch so we're going to set it to flex wrap and we're going to set it to horizontal and we want to stretch that's all what's the next one so we're going to add this custom css to the parent container so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to go to the custom css we're still selecting the parent container and then i'm just going to paste it there and what do you know so this gives you a three column on the mobile desktop and gives you two column on the tablet and one on mobile so let's save it and then we'll take a look at the front end how it behaves so now let that refresh and i'm gonna just go responsive mode and now once i move this it's gonna change to two it's gonna change to one and guys that's it it's as simple as that you can set this up in less than two minutes like i said earlier if you want an in-depth explanation of how this works check out this video right here I also have another video on auto responsive flexbox technique maybe you should probably check that out too until next time have a great day bye